Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle of Mrs. Boy Mom Plans. And today I thought I would give you a glimpse into what it is like working from home with three children. So I just got out of the shower. It's right about 7.30. Today is my oldest son's first day back to class after Christmas break. So I'm gonna go wake him up and grab a cup of coffee, get my camera set up and all that good stuff. And then I'm just going to relax until about eight o'clock. So this morning did not actually go as planned. My middle son actually got up before I was ready, so I was trying to make his cup and get him some breakfast, and I forgot that the toaster oven and the coffee maker cannot be running at the same time. Our coffee bar is set away from outlets, so we're using a surge protector for all of our small appliances that are on the coffee bar, and it trips if you try to run more than one at a time. So I had his breakfast going, and I couldn't make my coffee right away, so I just straightened up the kitchen a little bit, um, cleaned off the baby's chair and put it back up while I waited for his breakfast. I had to change the battery out, but I signed on to my computer about 8 o'clock, had some issues getting logged on to my email, finally got onto my email. Now, my oldest son is currently sitting at the kitchen table doing his classwork. My middle son is sitting on the couch playing some video games. Normally, the youngest two would not be here, but Caden is just getting over COVID. He's technically cleared. I think that he could go back to daycare, but his daycare, um, he goes to a small home daycare, so I really don't want to take the chance of him still having something and us not know it. So we're keeping both of them home for an extra week just to be safe. So today is going to be a little bit different than it normally would with me working from home, because normally I wouldn't have the youngest two. Um, and then my husband worked a night shift last night, so once he gets home, He'll be going to bed so not only do i have to work make sure gabriel's doing his school work but i also have to try to keep all of the boys quiet while my husband tries to get some sleep so now that i've finally gotten onto my computer program i'm going to be answering some emails from students checking their schedules i can already see that i've got a lot of kids asking about schedule changes um, i have to go through all of my seniors to um, check their grades from the previous semester. If they failed anything last semester, I have to offer them an opportunity to make up the credit this semester as long as they're in, as long as they're in a position to graduate. If they're not in a position to graduate, then they'll have to do it over the summer. So it's going to be a lot of computer work today, a lot of going through schedules and answering emails.
Okay, so I've gotten a good two hours worth of work in. I've changed some schedules, did some enrollments, talked to some parents, some teachers. Now it is just um, about a quarter after 10 and I'm going to get the baby up because he's been asleep for too long and if I let him sleep any longer, it's going to be difficult getting him to go to bed tonight. So I'm gonna go make him a bottle. Um, now some of you might be wondering why he's still on a bottle when he's almost two. For those who have never watched any of my videos, my youngest son has Down syndrome, so he has low muscle tone. Um, we've been trying to get him onto a sippy cup, but it's not going real well. We keep offering it to him, but he just doesn't have, I guess, the strength in his, in his mouth to successfully use the sippy cup without making a mess. So I give him his milk in a bottle and all of his juice, I give it to him in a sippy cup. So we're working on transitioning to that sippy cup. It's just taking a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that bottle made and get him up, diaper changed, all that good stuff, get him settled in for breakfast so that I can get a little bit more work done. the baby up and changed I'm going to move from my desktop computer to my laptop that way I can sit on the couch and kind of keep a better eye on the baby while working at the same time So what you're watching right now is probably the most difficult part of my day when the kids are home and that is trying to get any amount of work done while they are crawling around on the couch getting into things they shouldn't be getting into it's just a little difficult but you have to make the best of the situation and just do what you can sometimes i have to make up for it by doing a little bit of work later in the day when my husband's available to watch them
Okay, so my oldest son is done with his virtual portion of his classes. So he's taken the younger kids to the bedroom to play. It is about 11.50. So I'm gonna get about 10 more minutes of work done. And then I'm gonna shut everything down for an hour, have my lunch and um, try not to stress out because it's been a lot of work and a lot of problems already today. Okay, so it is noon and I am going to get some lunch, but I'm gonna turn the camera off for a little bit and just give myself a bit of a break from everything. And then I will, um, I actually might just wait until closer to the end of the workday to turn the camera back on. We do have some plans after, um, after work. We are working on redoing our kitchen counters and I think we're going to Lowe's to pick up some wood and stuff like that. So I might take you along with me on that, give you a look at our entire day. Um, take you through, you know, putting dinner together and eating as a family of five. It's uh, pretty hectic in my house at times. So I will be back shortly. So the rest of the day did not go as planned. We ended up not going to Lowe's. My husband slept a little bit longer than I had anticipated. I also ended up with a migraine, so I took a nap when I was done with work for the day. Um, as you can see, my countertops are torn up. We started taking apart the top to try to figure out how it was secured in. We thought it might be underneath the laminate because we couldn't see any screws from the bottom, but it turns out they literally just stapled the countertops on to the cabinets. So we'll just have to kind of like hammer them up. So I hope to be able to do that soon. But right now, all I'm doing is cooking a quick and easy dinner. None of us felt like cooking, so I just pulled out some frozen fajita mix that we had, some chicken and steak, warmed it up, and then we sat down and ate. I did not film us eating. Um, our dinner is our family time. We have a no electronics policy. We don't have cell phones or anything like that at the table. That is time for us to just focus on our kids and talk about our day. So that is pretty much it. That is what my day looks like when the kids are home and I am trying to work. As I mentioned before, this is not a typical day. Normally the youngest two go to daycare so that I can focus on my job. But with Caden having been diagnosed with COVID, we wanted to be extra safe and keep him home an extra week. So if you liked this, please make sure you like the video down below and also subscribe to my channel because I may do be doing stuff like this in the future. Um, I'm also planning on showing what we do with the kitchen and all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I hope you have a good night. Bye.